Okay, look, um, at this point, just fire everyone. And I'm not just talking about the cast. I'm talking about local production. I'm talking about production assistants, interns, security, catering. Just fire fucking everyone. Hey, what's up and hello. This is the Chris Nicole giving you my views on life, love, and the world of entertainment through my eyes. And I should say the world of good entertainment at this point and cut out some of these bullshit reality shows. Like the show I'm about to review, The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Season 15, episode 5. I don't even know the title of this show and I refuse to check at this point. I'm just going to call it same bullshit, different week, okay? So we start off with Moneta telling ignorant ass Marlo that she was wrong for banging on Kenya's door like that. And of course, Marlo, instead of being a woman and accepting responsibility... She gets ignorant. She goes off on Magneta. Magneta goes off on her. Next thing you know, crazy ass Marlo is storming out and tries to slam a heavy ass door in Magneta's face. And instead of Magneta whooping Marlo's ass, she shows class and pretty much, you know, keeps it ladylike, but keeps her distance. Next thing you know, they call Kenya. And Kenya at this point is like, to hell with all of y'all bitches, except my real genuine friends in this circle, which in reality, I would say none of them because her real genuine friends are not even on this trip. Maybe Moneta. That's probably the only one. But she tells Sonya, Sonya can go. Sonya catches a hissy fit and decides to get all of her shit and storms out. Kenya doesn't even care. Because the next time Sonya speaks to Kenya, Kenya is like, who the hell am I even speaking to? In other words, Sonya, you can leave. Bye-bye. So at this point, Marlo is so damn immature that she's with sorry-ass Courtney. And she literally wants to text Kenya and just talk shit to Kenya. Mind you, she's already banged on her door the same night. Now she wants to text her. Marlo is damn near bullying Kenya at this point. She wants a response from Kenya so bad that she is literally doing anything she can for a response. Marlo, grow the fuck up. How are you this old responding this way and you think it's cute on damn TV? So with that, Drew, we see Drew. I don't even know why I'm saying this, but we see Drew walking out of the damn hospital. She had the flu. I don't even know why this is a damn scene. And then next we have Todd and Kenya. And Todd is showing his movie poster. And the movie is called The Pass. And apparently it's about a couple who give each other a pass to pretty much have freaky tales with anyone. And to be honest, I think I'll pass on watching that movie when it comes out. No shade, but not interested. So Candy talks to Todd about how she is going to confront her mama about how she keeps talking about Todd in a negative way. Candy is bullshit. You will never confront your mother or check your mother like you should, like a grown-ass woman, and not confront or check her in a disrespectful way, but in a way where you need to put your foot down and let her know that she cannot run your household and disrespect your man. It's not happening. 
Candy is too much of a chicken shit when it comes to her mother. But anywho, so Kenya, I'm about to say Candy, but Kenya wakes up feeling ill and she says she feels numbness and pain in her left arm, which is scary because that's usually a sign of a heart attack. Sheree sees that the ambulance is going into Kenya's room. Sheree calls Marlo and Marlo says that every time she tries to move forward, it feels like the devil is pulling her back. Yeah, Marlo, you may want to look in the mirror because maybe that's the devil you're talking about. You bitch, you. So Sheree tells the girls that Kenya is in the hospital and Moneta freaks out because Moneta had just lost her mother not too long ago. So when they were actually talking to Kenya when she was in the hospital, she got flashbacks of that and she starts crying. Next thing you know, Marlo evil ass decides to say a prayer. I don't trust her prayers. I don't know who she praying to and the way she's been acting, child. Yeah, I don't know what she was praying to. And what she was praying for when it came to Kenya. Then she all of a sudden wants to make amends and try to hug it out with Moneta. And Moneta tries to talk to her about, you know, Marlo's bullshit. She's like, look, because I'm one of those people. I'm the same way. We not hugging stuff out until we actually talk about what the hell you did and to really try to see how it's not going to happen again. But of course, Marlo don't accept responsibility for shit. So as far as I see it, I knew that scene was fake. But of course, she was trying to make it seem like she was all about a kumbaya with Moneta. Yeah, okay. So after that, the girls all go downstairs acting like they're about positive energy and being peaceful. And while Marlo is trying to claim that, you know, let's just have this same vibe going back to Atlanta before they could even blink, she talking shit about Moneta, saying that, you know, um, it's not going to work when it comes to Moneta. I, again, just fake ass shit. Like, is Marlo related to someone in local production? Like, I'm really just trying to figure out at this point, why do they still have her? Or maybe someone in Bravo just really likes Marlo. Because I'm at this point, I'm really, I'm really confused on why she is still here. So, with that, they're back in Atlanta. Sheree goes to check in on Kenya, and the best part of this scene was cute little Brooklyn. She is the highlight of this show. Like, let's just have a show with Kenya and Brooklyn. Like, that's all we need at this point. Candy, <laughs> Candy claims she's going to check her mother. Her mother comes over, and at this point, you can tell that immediately Candy is uncomfortable talking to her mother about this situation. So as much as she says she wasn't going to be nice about the situation, she does just that. And so her mother still talking shit. She tries to talk to her mother about the situation. Her mom is like, well, this is what a man should do. And at this point, Ace is six years old. He should know how to take out the trash. Why in the hell does a six-year-old need to know how to take out the trash? Why? I could see 10, but six, six, she just tries to find any reason, any reason to keep on Todd's ass. And so my thing is also is that when was the last time Mama Joyce had a man? When was the last time she had a successful relationship? I just don't understand why the ones with no man are so quick to give advice and try to tell you what you need to do. Like, I just, I don't understand that. And Mama Joyce is good for that, like so many others. But Mama Joyce is so quick to tell Candy what her man needs to do. And even Candy had to say, well, where's your man at? Exactly. Exactly. I'm going to need the person giving advice to have more experience and more success, not just experience, but more success in the category that they're trying to give me advice in. Okay. You need to have more success in that field before you try to give me advice in it. So with that being said, Candy says they should go to counseling. 
and her mama agrees. Candy, you tried this counseling shit before. Your first season, you tried it. Dare I remind you and everyone else who's listening the infamous line that your mother said in the first counseling session and in the first season she said, child support, child support. You tried the counseling before. Your mother's not the counseling type. She is who she is. So you either put your foot down or you allow your man to stay uncomfortable in this relationship for the rest of his damn life. Nine years in a marriage and he still has to deal with this? Girl, girl, like come the fuck on. Moving on. Anywho. So what else was happening? Um, Yeah, nothing. Now that I think about it, there was nothing else to really freaking talk about in this episode. We see the next episode where this is the scene where Candy pretty much says she wants to choke the shit out of Marlo. Child, look, at this point, I don't condone violence, but maybe that actually physically happening may save this show. I mean, damn. Like, at this point, we need something because I am so sick of this. Like... 15 up ep- like 15 episodes hell no 15 seasons in and you guys can't do better than this just throw the show away throw the show away and i don't have anything against kenya or candy or freaking Monetta, but at this point y'all may really need to take everyone from the cast off regroup get new local production new local everything just give a whole new vibe to atlanta you also definitely need to bring in younger women atlanta has a whole new like young scene of women making moves married doing their thing in atlanta you need to have that at least half of your cast needs to be the new generation of atlanta women because this shit is tired It's over and done with. Like, what in the hell is going on with the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Y'all may need to just cancel the show. Get a whole new city at this point. This makes no damn sense. So, look, this is my review. I'm tired, y'all. I'm laying in my damn bed while I'm doing this. I'm over it. I am over it. But let me know what you think. I don't care. Y'all can curse and say whatever. It's a free country over here at the Chris Nicole channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below. And I will see you on my next video. And hopefully, just hopefully, I will be in a better mood. Peace.